Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Spencer Prince with SoundCloud, SoundClick. Instagram, T T O N E 202, SoundCloud, all you guys. And uh, I was watching World Star Hip Hop, and this girl was going in on other girls because they had a good man and they was treating them. You know, they treat their good man wrong, oh, man. Some of the stuff she said in there was right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they really do that. Uh, you know, and then, you know, and then they cheat on them and go and get a bad dude. You know what I'm saying? But then they always want to come back to the good dude. And this is nothing new. <laughs> you know, women are attracted to bad guys. You know, but you know, I, I've never been the like the bad, the bad dude. Like I've never been the dude out in the streets, you know, I've always been the, like, when I love someone, like, I love that one person, now, I might have had a couple chicks, and, you know, back in my younger, you know, my younger days, um, I don't get none of that now, uh, you know what I'm saying, just because I was just dating around, but when I love somebody, like, I'm like, I love you, like, I love that one person, and uh, I dote over that one person. Look, even if that woman ain't mine, you know what I'm saying? Like, here's a real, here, here's what's, like, at my age, like, here's what's really going on right now. There's so many people who are unfaithful in the world. They Because music pushes unfaithfulness. Chris Brown, cheat on your man, that's how you get ahead. Uh... The internet, you know, has our women with their bodies out everywhere. Uh, social media is just, social media is dangerous. I mean, be, there was a dude on World Star recently who lost, uh, well, he didn't lose his daughter. Basically, she got caught up in the um, sex trafficking. And he got her back, thank God, you know, praise the Lord for that. But, uh, he, you know, he, he was about to go kill some people. You know, but she was making money off of it. Like, you know, he got a hold of her money and, you know, did whatever with it. But he was really about to lose his mind. And uh, so basically, just the, the devilry, just the evil, just the pure, you know, like, like it starts young. And then, it, you know, it builds its way up. And, uh, <clears throat> look, I've been caught up in the you know what I'm saying, I've been caught up in stuff, and if you're not careful, you'll get caught up in the stuff, you know what I'm saying, but it's, it's so, like, why is it so hard to love one person, and be with one person, that, that's, that's what my question is, you know, I, I, let's look at some numbers, let's, let's go through some numbers, in every major city, Chicago, New York, Detroit, Know, Pittsburgh, Philly. Women outnumber men. Ten to one. Uh, some places eight to one. And in other places, they outnumber us fourteen to fifteen to one. To one. And then some other young ladies on World Star, World Star talking about that. She was from, I think she's from the D. She's from Detroit. She was like, look, I was checking for another chick's dude. Because he was clean, he had a nine to five, and uh, old girl, you know, <laughs> she was like, old girl was about to, you know, beat me up. She was like, hey, I was checking for him because he he had it all together, you know what I'm saying? He was doing everything the right way, and she said, listen, where I live is fourteen to one. Like, I'm not the only one checking for this dude. Like, there's fourteen other people checking for this man, waiting for her to slip up. You know what I'm saying? So you have that scenario. Then you have the scenario where you have the you have the good dude and the chick is just blatantly cheating on him. And <laughs> look at you ever see the video on World Star where dude was like, You were supposed to be my cinnamon apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Nonetheless, I done had a cinnamon apple before and I done cried over her like why? Like, why can't we be a fam? You know what I'm saying? This is back when I was in my younger 30s. You know, I cried over a chick. 
mess my whole head up, messing me up my whole head, like Tika did Martin. Uh, mess my whole head up. You know, I've had that happen to me twice. You know, now I'm to the point where, look, if look if if I love that one person. I don't really try to go out. Even listen, even if that one person, like if I can't be with that person, but nonetheless we have some type of connection, and I tell you I love you, like I love you, like you that person, I love you. I'm not gonna go out here and try to sleep with you know, even if we really not, even if we not doing that, I, and I'm cool with that. I'm not really just about. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, I'm cool with that. You know, but I, you know, when I love somebody, like, I like to, my whole thing is not so much getting in the bed with them. My whole thing is, I like to, I like to do stuff with them. Like, I like to dote over them. Like, I like to, like, I'm Mr. Online. <laughs> like, uh, buy your chick something online. You know what I'm saying? That's me. Like, when I buy stuff for my, like, my kid and, you know, uh, you know, my fam, you know what I'm saying? I like to get what like whatever their shoe size is and just order them something like randomly to just have it show up at their house. You know what I'm saying? Like that, I'm not, dude. Hold on. You know, I might just, you know, want to just give you some money just to give it to you. Now, I'm not stupid because if you start dogging me out, start you know, calling me all out my names or think that I'm weak just because I said I love you, then, you know, I, I stop. I'm like, okay, well, you you didn't really understand what I was. Like, you could have even had a dude. But I just wanted to show you love. Now, some people don't get that. They're like, oh, you a soft. I'm just like, listen, I'm 50. My, uh, I'm not chasing nobody. I might just want to care for somebody. Just because. Like I like people are like why don't you go to the club? I'm like because I've seen the same thing over and over again. Why don't you go out and you know on dating sites? Because I've seen it over and over again. I've seen it. Hell, I might I'm, I'm I might just I might just take your girl out there. You know, hey look, I <laughs> I told this one girl I was like listen, let me take you out to dinner. And she was like uh, now nah, I gotta do it. I was like bring him. <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was funny but I was serious I was like bring your dough you know what I'm saying because I just wanted to be around some good company that's it I just wanted to be around somebody I can you know some good conversation I wanted to see a pretty face that's your man I'm okay with that like you know, some people don't get it, but when you when you when you get my age, and you've seen all of what I've seen, you know you lost a couple kids. You've seen the dirty side of it all. You know what I'm saying? When you when you just seen when you just seen reckless abandonment, like when you got when you got to visit graves because of love and what love has done to you. And it's damaged and twisted you, and twisted your mind, and twisted your heart. You start looking for love in any crevice that you can find. That's not. That's not going to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You might. You might get a pet. Be like, you know, I'm gonna put all my love into this bunny rabbit right here. <laughs> like, wake up every day. I love you, bunny rabbit. <laughs> I'm gonna feed you every day. I'm, you know, what I'm saying, take you out for a walk, whatever it is that you do. Me and the bunny rabbit, man, I'm gonna feed this bunny the best carrots in the world. You're gonna be a super bunny. I'm just saying, you know, uh, it sounds backwards. But it is what it is. And there are a lot of men out there who are like me because we've been screwed over so much that when you do meet a good woman, even if she got a dude, you just like, hey, she like, listen, I got a man. I'm like, okay, you know, you got a man. 
<laughs> if y'all hungry, you know, you know, come see about me. And it ain't about money, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes, you know, if she, like, if this woman, if you know she got a man and she's just a cool person, you know, what's wrong with getting together with her and her people and be like, hey, let's go do this on me. Nothing wrong. Listen, my, like, uh, my neighbors, you know, uh, you know, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I give, you know, I give the kids money. You know what I'm saying? A couple bucks here and there doing stuff. And one of them, I was like, listen, you know, your kid's birthday, right? I was like, they want to go skydiving? I was like, I'll pay for the whole thing. You know, I had already marked out what day. I marked out the price. You know, who does that? You know, but I, it was their birthday. I wanted to see them have a good time. I was like, yo, let's... I want to watch you fall out of a plane. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's not so much that I'm some, you know, like I ain't no rich dude or nothing. But like I said, you you got to choose the way and who you love nowadays carefully. Because love can damage you. Love can set you up for the woo. Love can hurt you. You've been through as much hurt as I have. Like I said, I still have graves to visit. You know? I got scars that won't go away. I got nightmares that, you know, pop up every now and then. You know, I you know, I have a past that is just, you know, I have to sort it out every now and then. It takes some time it might you know, I might get a flashback, you know, and just sit there upset about what I went through. And I can't blame somebody else for what happened to me. I can all, only think I can say it happened. So I'm just saying, choose who you love. Like, if you loving the bad dude, I hate, but he going to stay a bad dude. If you loving a bad girl, she going to stay a bad girl. You letting somebody just do whatever to you. You got to understand that spirit is on you. You're going to exhume that. And you think that it's cute or you think that it's cool. But when you finally settle down, when you finally get older and you finally settle down, like, I want this one good person. Guess what? You still got all of that hate upon you that somebody else put on you. You know, you still got that, that, that used part of you. You know, you let somebody just use you up who didn't give a dog on about you, you still got that spirit on you. You, be, you better believe these spirits ain't playing out in these streets. These spirits don't play. They'll have you six feet under. Real quick. You know, you better watch that L word. You better watch what you love. You know, especially your body. How you treat your body. This is one reason why I don't go around sleeping around with people. You know, it's my body. It's the only one I got. Don't nobody love it like me. People will throw you in a ditch right now and laugh at you. They'll spit on you. They don't care about you. You got to care about you. Quit dogging out the good dude. Quit dogging out the good the good girl. Even if you don't want them. Like, don't put that, like, don't dog them out if you don't want them. If you don't want them, just be like, listen, I just don't, like, I don't want you. But I don't have no beef with you. I just don't want to be that be that way with you. I'm just saying, man, we need to be careful, man. Watch what you love, who you love, how you love. You know? Your body is precious. Your soul is precious, man. It's your boy Tone 202.